Hey, it's Craig from TC Helicon. Today we've got a couple of updates for you, one for Voice Life Play and one for Voice Life Play GTX. We've made some improvements to the way tone works, so it's going to be a little bit more responsive. And we've also uh, improved the less bright tone style, so it's a little bit um, sort of better suited to reduce uh, open mic feedback and also to uh, take that very high crispy sound out of uh, some of the voices that may not want that kind of sound in there. The other thing we've done, which is, uh, well, there's two, two little other things we've done that have been highly user requested over the life of these products, is that we've decided to no longer pass the incoming USB audio back out the, uh, the USB outputs. So what that means is if you're listening to a track from your computer and you want to sing along with it, typically what would happen is you'd sing along with the track and then what you'd get back to your computer was your voice with the effects, or in the case of a voice I've played GTX, your voice and guitar with the effects, but also mixed in with the track that you were hearing in your headphones. And that's a very simple and convenient way to record, but a lot of people wanted to use the devices in a more sort of recording atmosphere, you know, where they wanted to just record back their processed voice or their processed guitar and voice, and wanted to have that separate from the music track so they could mix it in later. So what we've done is we've just taken that routing away, so now when you listen to something from the computer, you're going to hear it in your headphones, you can sing along with it, but the computer receives back only the voice or only the voice and guitar if it's a play a GTX. And it'll give you a lot more control over mixing tracks after they've come back to your computer. Uh, the second thing we've done has been uh, more for uh, for live sound applications. Uh, people have said, hey, if I could get a monitor mix into my auxiliary input, I could use it for in-ear monitoring, but the problem is the aux input always goes to the output, so then I wouldn't want to have the monitor mix go into the unit, have me hear it, and then have it go right back out to the, uh, the front of house again, because that would create a feedback loop. So what we've created is an option within the setup menu called aux uh, type. So you can go in here. It's actually been there the whole time, but it's uh, it's had different uh, um, controls to it. You've seen it before. Um, it's described in the manual as having the aux in type be live or tracks, and that slightly delays the incoming aux signal in order for you to, uh, to have a bit more accuracy with the pitch tracking. Now what we've done is we've added a third option. If you just keep scrolling around there, you'll find monitor, and monitor essentially brings in the aux input, keeps it in real time so it's lined up perfectly with the signal that's coming in, but then does not output that auxiliary signal out to the main outputs, and that would you know prevent that feedback loop with the, uh, the mixer at the front of house. So if you've got a pair of in-ear monitors and you want to use an incoming mix and you can get it to the eight inch, uh, you can even do stereo uh, for, for monitor mix, you could actually have an in-ear monitor mix uh, directly from the Voice I Play or Voice I Play GTX, which we think is a really cool addition. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon.